When you inject carbon into the subsurface, you are basically adding another fluid. Uh, and there's only so much space in the subsurface for fluid to exist uh, without uh, additional pressure buildup that might cause earthquakes uh, or other instabilities. And so one of the things that uh, the field has explored is the concept of active reservoir management. And in active reservoir management, you would actually withdraw um, saline water that's currently filling the pore space in order to make extra room for the carbon that you are storing In this study, we do a couple of different things. The first is that we look across the US uh, at the existing um, saline reservoir storage capacity and try to understand what is the water quality that we would expect to get um, from active reservoir management. We looked very specifically at state-of-the-art technologies and what their energy intensities were for treating this water. There's actually a lot of variation both within and between reservoirs. So there are some reservoirs that are gonna have much lower salinities on average, and some reservoirs that are gonna have much higher salinities on average. If we're thinking about transporting uh, carbon in a sort of a national network, um, there may be opportunities to transport carbon longer distances in order to access lower salinity reservoirs first. 